In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Obspot Tiny AI powered pan tilt zoom webcam. From the design, you could probably tell that the Tiny isn't your run of the mill webcam. Featuring AI motion tracking, you'll be able to move around freely as the camera follows along, tracking your every movement. And you won't have to worry about any jitter while recording, since the camera is located on a two axis gimbal. Since lighting conditions vary in every setup, with AI auto exposure and smart white balance, the Tiny aims to always make the subject in front of the camera look good. With gesture controls, using your hands you'll be able to turn on or off motion tracking or even zoom in and out your video. In terms of the more common specs, the camera has a max video resolution of 1080p, 30 frames per second, 2x digital zoom, a 90 degree field of view, and built-in dual omnidirectional microphones with noise cancellation. Now that we're done taking a look at the specs and features, let's open up the box and check it out. First, we have the user manual and warranty card, a USB-C power cord, a magnetic mount, and the Obsbot Tiny webcam. Looking at the Tiny, you can see it has a premium look and feel. The camera sits on top of a two-axis gimbal and has a total pan range of 300 degrees and a total tilt range of 90 degrees. On the front, there's the camera indicator lights to show the current status of the camera. Towards the bottom left and right, we have the microphones. Over on the back, there's an option to power the camera using a DC power supply, which is not included. And just below, we have the USB-C connection. Turning the focus to the physical setup and placement, we have a few options. The first, just drop it on any flat surface. The second option, use a quarter inch thread located on the bottom of the camera and mount it to a tripod. And the last option, utilizing the magnetic mount to place it on any monitor. And don't worry, the magnetic mount does a pretty good job keeping the camera stable, even with little movements. Out of the box, the camera's plug and play, so you don't need to install any software to get started. But if you want to gain access to additional camera options, you do have the option to download and install the Obspot Tiny app directly from their site, and I'll be dropping that link in the description down below. Using the app, you'll be able to control the camera using the joystick. You'll also be able to quickly reset your camera position using the reset button located above the joystick. Manually zooming in and zooming out using the slider, as well as turning on or off auto tracking. Clicking on the hexagon brings up system settings. Here you can check the camera's firmware version, put the camera to sleep, turn on or off gesture controls, Set the zoom limits for gesture controls. With tracking mode, you can choose between three different modes. Headroom, standard, and motion. Configure video allows you to adjust your image settings like brightness, contrast, white balance, zoom, and exposure. Flipping on the preset toggle allows you to create up to three different camera positions and zoom setting presets. Global Hotkeys is convenient if you like to use keyboard shortcuts. Enabling this gives you 22 different keyboard shortcuts that you can utilize to control your camera. Under More, you can go here to update your camera to the latest firmware version, reset the camera to factory settings, or even gain access to the user manual. So how does the camera perform? 
The image quality looks pretty good, but I personally thought the colors looked a little flat using the default settings. But as I previously demonstrated, using OBS or the Obspot application, you can easily tweak the image settings to add more color depth to the image. Here's some video samples using the default settings under a few different lighting conditions. AI motion tracking is impressive and was able to follow me and keep me within the frame at all times. Using AI gestures is neat. Raising your hand, you can toggle on or off motion tracking and using an L shape symbol, you can zoom in or out. Using gestures worked most of the time, but I did find in order for it to work, you couldn't be too close to the camera. Otherwise, it wouldn't pick up on the command. Now, if you prefer not to use gesture controls, but still want to take advantage of being able to zoom in or out, or even toggle motion tracking, Opspot does offer a remote that you can purchase. If webcam privacy is a concern, simply point your camera down, and once a camera indicator turns yellow, the camera is now in privacy mode. Here's a microphone sample from the Obspot Tiny in a quiet room. I'm about two feet away from the mic. For this microphone sample, I have an audio track of people talking in the background. How do you think noise cancelling mics are doing? Good job? Bad job? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So far my experience with this camera has been great, but a couple things that I felt could have made this camera even better is if I had an option to manually control the focus, as well as being able to record video at 4K 30 frames per second, or even at 1080p 60 frames per second. If you're interested in purchasing the Obsbot Tiny, I'll be dropping all the product links in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and share, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.